Transition to Life and Daily Living Skills. Today we're going to learn about microwave safety. There are several things you need to know in order to safely use a microwave oven. We're going to start with safe plates, safe dishes to put inside the microwave. You can put in stoneware, melmac, or porcelain dishes and they won't be hurt in the microwave so long as they don't have a metal band that goes around them. So here's an example of stoneware. Here's paper plates. They're great for the microwave also. Here are plastic plates. So long as they say microwave safe, you can use these in the microwave too, but be careful. Some of the plastic plates you buy will melt inside the microwave oven. The same is true with uh, styrofoam plates. You really shouldn't put styrofoam in the microwave oven because it will melt. Here's another stoneware dish. These are also safe for the microwave. What's not safe for the microwave is metal. You would never put a pan inside the microwave. Also, don't leave your spoon in your bowl in the microwave. This will spark, could cause a fire. And be careful when you're reheating your hot water because this metal band around this little coffee pot will hurt your microwave oven. No metal in the microwave. Not aluminum foil, not spoons, not pans, no metal. Don't use your microwave if the window is cracked and also don't stand too close to it. Also, don't look inside the microwave while it's going. It's not good for your eyes. So move away from it when it's working. Here are your number pads. Check your number. Check it twice. One zero zero is one minute. That's very different from one zero zero zero. That's 10 minutes. So make sure that the number that goes up on the screen is the number in your cookbook, on your directions, or in your recipe. You also want to be careful to stir any hot food uh, that comes out of the microwave. Heat doesn't distribute evenly in microwave cooked food, so you might have some very, very hot places and some places that aren't very hot at all. By stirring up your food and letting it sit for a few seconds before you eat it or use it, it helps to distribute that heat. Now you know how to be safe around your microwave oven. There's a test in the book. See how well you remember the instructions and good luck with your cooking.